It's only one destroyer. Action stations. Just gonna be playing Len until you get a 80% win rate in it. I forgot what my win rate in Lennon was. I feel like I could probably reach 80% win rate in Lennon a lot easier just because I haven't played nearly as many battles as you. That legendary tier 12, 234 is going to be extra spicy. What do they have? Like a 30% fire chance? So 30% fire chance and 12 guns? I'd say that'd be pretty irritating for a battleship player. Especially with the quarter pen. Because I think that's what, uh, 59 millimeters a pen? Is that right? Or is it. 58. Pretty sure it was enough to pen Yamato deck. And Yamato deck's 57. Mm, I don't think this is a good idea, but I kind of want to do it. Which is go to the next island. What's up, Pragmatic Duck? You're about to get Seattle. Am I running Yoki? No, I'm not. I use Beeply, so I don't have Yoki. But I don't think it's worth it, just because we already have um, 30 millimeters of pen with this thing. I mean, you could use EOP to get it up higher, but I honestly don't think we really need it. Oh, Pipper just got nuked. Can we finish him off? There's the other destroyer. Those shells missed, so he's gonna survive. But um, yeah, I don't think EOP is worth it for Seattle or Worcester, for that matter. Gotta be careful with the battleship in the middle. But I'm gonna push back in just to get this guy in radar again. Or not again, but get him in radar. Three battleships lemming over here. Hopefully they stay spotted so that they're the ones getting shot at. Did he smoke up? Oh, perfect. Since he smoked up, I think I have a chance to radar him without getting detected here. Barely Enemy battleship detected. Can we stop? Can we kill him before he spots us? Unfortunately not. He should be dead with that though. Enemy cruiser sighted. Enemy destroyer foundered. Fully packed is just too good. Yeah, if you have a radar, sonar, and heal, like there's no reason to use EOP or even refill station for that matter. Like the team utility and the actual use usefulness to the team is more important than reload range and, and getting more pen, especially on something that already has decent pen. Interesting. 
Nice, and because our firing range is nothing, we went unspotted. Not running it on Cleveland. I used to run it on Cleveland. I mean, getting 32 millimeters a pen is its not a bad idea, but I mean, when it comes to radar cruisers and stuff, personally, I just rather have the radar and also heal. That was missed. Oh, did it miss? I mean, in an Atlanta, though, I would consider it. But again, I use Beeply, so we don't even have access to it. But Atlanta, at least you'd be able to pen 27, which is tier 7 heavy cruisers. There's many times where you kind of get in trouble against like a Wichita or something or Hipper charging at you and because you don't have the pen, you're just going to rely on fires or shooting their superstructure. There's very few situations where EOP is actually useful, but for the most part, you're probably just better off using fully packed. Like if Azuri and Otago had fully packed, I'd use fully packed over refill station. The other ship in the cap needed to be reset. Uh, the battleship in their spawn is going to be a problem. Unless I can go and spot it, like right here. Yes, walkers. Barely enough cover. Definitely really annoying. Fire? Does he have fight fire with fire? No, he doesn't. Alright, let's take a fat lead to see if we can get the one out. Alright, aim assist. Do your thing. Oh, he's shooting EP now. I don't know who it was that was shooting EG then. Alright, you want me bowing reversing? Um Hmm. I feel like if I go north, north side of Bravo, I'll probably be in trouble. Actually, you know what? If I say south, he's too far to spot us. So once we can kill the Cleveland, we can probably farm all the other ships without ever getting spotted. Because the other guy is so far. Donnie's asking for my help. I'm located, so this Cleveland's either using Einstein or Beepley. <clears throat> mm, but those guys are pretty close. Alright, this is really risky. I'm gonna go around to get the Cleveland so our Delany can at least probably get closer to torp the battleships. But I think because this guy's here, he's kind of been staying away. Battle 
It's probably a really dumb idea. But I'm going for it anyway. At least we have intuitive so we can at least see who's looking at us. No one's looking at us yet. Oh, one person is. Who is it? Gotta be careful with anyone on me. No, it's one of the battleships in front of us. It's really nice being able to pen other light cruisers with these 152s. Just don't want to overturn. Shot at us. The ship is on fire. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Alright, let's just stay here. It's kind of focused on whatever ships are out there. Quite get the fire. Our team or is hit some of the superstructure to kill him. Actually, we need one more to get a Kraken. Where's this guy's turrets at? Kind of facing our direction. If Musashi shoots, we can just charge out and shoot at him. Hopefully, he shoots soon. Did he shoot already, actually? No, no splashes. Oh, there we go. I hope he doesn't get deleted, though, because he's broadside. Oh, I see HE coming from me. Nice, crack it. Enemy battleship sunk. Our team has taken the lead. All right, what did we even kill? Musashi, Palmer. And did we kill the Buki? We killed Cleveland and Zed. That guy literally reversed from this side of the map all the way to the border. And he's still reversing. That's actually really cringe. Like, actually. Came up to 59 with the one fourth. Yeah, I knew it was something ridiculous, and I did remember a Capenya Mato deck, which is 57, so it was either 58 or 59. Ah, that Iwami finally died. Should probably just load AP since he's broadside to us. I wonder if he's reversing or if he's just sitting there. No. Only two. Six ricochets. Probably hit his turret. to hit like the upper belt of the Iwami. Shame. A lot of shatters. There's a very small portion on the upper belt that you could hit on the Iwami other than the superstructure. I guess if he survives, at least we can um, probably cap Charlie. Well, he's probably going to die once he gets around the corner. Cap before he dies. Uh oh, shell's coming in. Oh, shame. Four seconds and we would have had a cap and more XP. <clears throat> How much XP did we get though? 
Oh, 3,500. Not bad. Not a lot of damage, but we did our job getting caps and getting their destroyer as well. So, I guess this is replay worthy. Why not? I mean, stock, uh, stock uh, Seattle as well. Uh, we only got 10,000 XP though, so we didn't even unlock the first upgrade yet. We're so close. 2,000. Probably go for range first. But we don't need to play that again. 